If your office looks a little bit like this, it could be time to outsource your shipping. There are many different ways to ship your products out, and no matter what size business you're running or how much you're shipping, there's options for outsourcing and getting professional help. So let's find out what those options are. Outsourcing your shipping only makes sense if it isn't gonna cost you an arm and a leg. But first things first, you should know how much you're currently paying because even if you're doing it in-house, you're still paying a lot of costs and you need to ask yourself these four questions to determine your current rates. Now, even if you're doing this stuff in-house, you're spending time doing it, aren't you? Let's say you have a laborer who's paid $15 an hour and can ship 10 packages in an hour. You do the math, that's how much time is costing you. Now you're spending money on postage. Every time you ship something out, whatever you pay to UPS or USPS, that's your postage cost. So you can determine how much you're paying there. Then, easily forgotten, you're paying for storage. Even if you're just keeping all your products in the middle of your office, you can take how much you pay in square footage at that office, divide it by how much space it's taking up, and you can determine how much you're paying for that. Now, volume. How much stuff are you shipping? 10 shipments a month, 1,000, 100,000? Because this factors into your overall costs as well. Now let's grab handy dandy Mr. Calculator to run some math on these numbers. So, if I take how much I'm paying in time, and I add how much I'm paying in postage, and how much I'm paying in storage, and then I divide by my volume, lots of volume, then I will arrive at a per shipment rate that I'm already by paying by doing this myself. And so now I have a better number to cost compare when I'm out there comparing my outsourced options. But keep in mind one other thing, folks. This thing over here, quality control, Keep in mind that as you take fulfillment and shipping and you outsource it further from yourself, you're losing a bit of control. A great partner will be great at quality control, but just think about how much quality control impacts your overall experience as well. Let's start with a very simple way of outsourcing at least part of your shipping process. Pickups. Now, let's say you're shipping from a home or office and you're taking all your boxes, putting them in the trunk of your car, and driving them over to USPS or something. Well, you can save yourself a ton of time by scheduling pickups with that carrier. All the majors, USPS, FedEx, they'll take a truck and they'll actually drive it over to your house or office. That package will go in the truck, head over to the depot, and then onwards to someone's house. That'll save you a ton of time. So over here, you get to start spending a little bit less of it. Let's say you've scaled out of shipping from your home or office, and your business is growing, but you haven't fully outsourced fulfillment. You might be shipping out of your own warehouse. There might be a variety of reasons. Maybe your product actually has a custom formulation that you can't fully outsource. But whatever the reason, once you're shipping packages from your big old own warehouse, you have some other options for optimizing, key being saving on postage rates. When you're shipping a lot and you're shipping straight from yourself, you hold the keys to the negotiation and you can actually reach out to your carrier and try to get rates down and that's so you can save a little bit on postage. Now, if your product is easily skewed, palletized, and stored, you could ship out of a 3PL. This is an even more outsourced option. They're actually gonna take your product and they're gonna get it straight from the factory and they're gonna ship it straight to your end consumer so that your HQ isn't involved anymore. This is maximum outsourcing and it can be really convenient. And they're gonna charge you based on storage, picking, packing, and postage. Now, what do you get out of this equation? Besides saving a lot of time, which is one thing, you're gonna maybe save on postage because they're gonna get group access to rates because they're shipping for more than just your brand. So it might go way down, it's hard to say. Also storage, instead of keeping all your products and all your packaging in your own facility and trying to figure that out, they're gonna store it for you. They're gonna charge you a little bit, but it's probably gonna end up cheaper than if you do it on your own. And then QC. Now, I'm not gonna say that QC exactly goes down, but your control over your quality control definitely goes down because you're no longer the shipper. But even if a 3PL seems like a max outsourcing, there's another whole thing to consider, drop shipping. Drop shipping is when you actually take something from a factory, this is a factory now, and you ship it directly to the customer and you skip over any kind of warehouse, whether it's your HQ, an external warehouse, or a 3PL. Now, this is super efficient. You're definitely gonna save on postage because postage is just less postage overall going straight from where the item's manufactured all the way to your end customer. 
you're also gonna save on time because you're not touching the product and you're not spending time managing the logistics of taking the product and getting it over to another warehouse. You're gonna have no storage concerns because again, the item is leaving the factory and going straight to the customer. So that goes way down, but Where's the catch? Quality control, while it could be high, you're losing a lot of visibility. Typically, the average manufacturer isn't a packaging expert or a fulfillment expert, so you need to make sure that they can actually ship your products in a high quality way so your customer ends up happy. Well guys, we've done it. We've covered the main ways to outsource your packaging, to get your little packages from point A to point B while not spending a ton of time, money, postage rates, storage, the whole thing but we haven't covered everything. There's things out in the world called like 4PLs. That means that it's additional layer of service over your 3PL. So instead of having a head of ops managing your 3PL, you might actually have an agency or another service that does everything for you. So there's a lot of technology out there that can still save you time beyond the key options we've covered. So I hope you can see, even though shipping things can be really confusing and overwhelming, it gets a lot easier with a little help from your friends. <laughs>